fair, at times we were getting quite a, quite a lot of women, but not as many as I, I, I would have liked. We were getting probably about 25%, 20%, which is quite good for most um, events at a time. Where, um, yeah, because this is way back, this is like 2003, 2002, where you go to an event and there was like one woman and she would get hassled because they would think that she was like the marketing person or something like that, which is real, real, real shame. So anyway, um, she started to do these events and it ran this rule and it became this massive success. Uh, Geekton has actually stopped after about four and a half years. Um, especially when I, I decided to move to Manchester, and so I stopped doing it, and then the took over, um, decided to get a different direction, which is fine. Um, but Joey Dinos is obviously now an international success. It's like Joey Dinos all over the world. Um, I think I heard there was one in, there was like a loan in Brazil, there's a loan in like Italy, and you know, Germany, just all over, and they're regular and it's really cool. Um, so what I guess, I'm, I'm, so one of the things actually, I'll give you uh, one of my points of view, is that when we talked originally, uh, we talked about how we wanted to, she, well she talked about how she wanted to attract women into uh, coming to these events regularly. And um, and going this was like a kind of stepping stone towards doing that. Um, oh God! So I should turn off my thing tonight. Um, That's rolling back. Yeah. Okay. Well. Um, anyway, for now, I'll just ignore that. Um, so one of the things that we think is that a lot of people, well, actually, lots of people have spoken to me and said, well. Um, it's a great idea, it's fantastic, but do you feel that um, the go eat dinners is basically, women go to go eat dinners, feel very comfortable, feel very happy, but then don't consider going to all these other events, um, do you think that's a real shame? And I already said that well, I don't see any evidence of that, but um, I've, I've started to see some evidence of that. So how many, have, how many of you guys have been to other events, which are, oh, quite a few. Okay, so that's, okay, that's cool. Because I, I, you know, people are saying, you know, well, they come to this one event and they don't really go anywhere else. You know, they wouldn't consider going anywhere else. Where originally, going to this was a place to, to meet other women, feel more comfortable about going to these other events, because you can go together, rather than kind of be the one person in the room who all the guys are trying to hit on or trying to ignore because you don't know anything and all this stuff. Yeah, of course. One thing that I noticed that I found really striking was when we did, because you ran a bar at Media City last year, yeah. uh, and we were kind of there as go geeks in residence, so we had like three or four of us were there kind of helping out with the conference, and that was advertised as part of the conference publicity. And someone actually came and found us at the conference and said, I'm really glad that you were here because I wouldn't have come otherwise. Because yes. I wouldn't have wanted to go to something where I wasn't sure I wouldn't be the only woman there or in a very small minority. Because we were there as like a presence of, of women, it yeah. gave her the confidence to turn up. So I guess like it might be that people would still be wary given that it's going to be a largely male dominated thing. But if you've got, I guess you can use support between the events and, uh, yeah, and, and, and events, yeah. I guess, yeah. And there's these guys that, um, Sorry, there's these guys that uh, boycotting conferences without female speakers. Oh, um, yeah. Really nice. That's quite a nice... Uh, Shareholders that helps. So. Depends, yeah, it depends whether it works or not, but it's, it's making a statement, I guess. I, I'll get back to that in a minute, because I, 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 I've actually run an event and it didn't have any female speakers, but they did it back. I had the same thing because I went to the electoral magnetic field, which was oh, like yes. a geek camp in yeah. the field. And I thought I wanted to go, but at the time, and I, don't, I won't know anybody, but um, Ms. Tech, who is a girl he kind of club down yeah. in London, I heard that they were going to be there and, do, um, and actually put in an event. And as I've been speaking to someone on Twitter, I felt comfortable to go knowing okay. they were there. And of course, when I got there, I found out that they'd gone out. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Which I think 
not done. Kind of was a bad thing. So I know that as a girl, if I say I'm going to go somewhere, I try really hard to make sure that I am there, just in case that one person might turn up who might know my name and say, yeah. oh, I'm glad you're here. I've seen you on Twitter mm -hmm. and I've come because I knew you were going to be here. And so I, I do think it's important that as girl geek groups, when we say we're going to do something, we commit to it yeah. to help those other girls that might just have that little bit of insecurity but want to take that step. Yeah, because I mean, you're right. When we the, the barking I mean, it's a team. Mm. You know, that was your suggestion, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. And it's, it, it just, you know, even though, you know, I, did, I wasn't able to, to do that, from the not to bark out, but it was just useful to know that there was a page, these people were going to be there, mm -hmm. and you could kind of go, okay, I don't know anyone, but yeah. Yeah, I yeah. know I can talk to people and say, hey. And I, I think if we're going somewhere, I think we need to advertise that we're going to be there yeah. as well. So like, yeah. you know, like, uh, so another thing know. what we did with the um, Media City Bar Camp, so I think just us being there um, sort of increased the participation of women. Uh, so I, I did a scientific experiment and, and counted uh, the female sounding names on the list of registration. So I have no idea whether that's true, but it should be around 25%, um, which is quite good for a bar camp because there's usually not many many women at all. Uh, another thing we did was we got taxi numbers, for example, we got um, tram timetables and stuff, and it was basically just a point of contact in case you kind of get stranded in Media City in the middle of the night or something, you don't know what to do. Um, and, and I think if you're running any kind of um, uh, events, just having one, you know, speaking to a mate of yours, any, any kind of, any woman, um, and say, would you be okay being a point of contact for women and maybe advertising that as well, that there's that someone there. Um, but, because it's just it's just nicer to know that if you, if you go somewhere and you, there's two, there's two points to it really. There's, first of all, it's awkward to go along to an event where you don't know anyone. And I think that's the same for guys and for women. But it's just as, uh, it, for, for women, there's always like, oh God, how am I going to get back home? Are guys going to be, oh, and start stalking or groping or whatever? You know, there's always that kind of element. It's the same about, this is the kind of conference we're running. The organisers are aware yeah. that women... That, that's the whole thing, it makes a statement. Yeah. You know, that they've taken that into account, yeah. they've taken a step to, yeah. to yeah. make sure that, that's, that women are supported at it. And also, it kind of also says, also, we're not a bunch of creepy guys. You know, the guys who care about women who think about women's needs. This is really getting a bit feminist. <laughs> <laughs> like, I'm, I'm basically, I'm, I'm a mathematician and I've always worked around men and I've always been completely comfortable being the only woman in the room. And I know that that's because I'm a confident person and I've never had any bad experiences and I've been very lucky with that, I guess. But I know people that find it really intimidating to be one of very few women, I think. Yeah. And it's, it must just be really unpleasant for people. Uh, and it's. It's partly because of the way the industry is and because of whatever has caused the industry. And, and another thing that's important, I think, is just guys to be aware of it as well mm -hmm. when they make women feel awkward. Like the first back camp Manchester, you know, I was completely insane. Another second, second. A second oh, right, right. At, at Contact Theatre, and we were playing werewolf in the middle of the night, and we were all drunk and playing werewolf at three o'clock in the morning, and it was really funny uh, until I got killed off as a as a, a, a villager. And um, the reason why I got killed off was um, because I had some an unfortunate accident with a sex toy or something, which is kind of if you're in a room with basically only guys, with twenty drunk guys, and they're making jokes about you and sex toys and stuff. I was like, oh my god, what's gonna happen? You know, it's it's really, really fucking awkward. And the guy should just sorry, I'm swearing. And the guy should just be aware of that and just have that attitude and show, hey, we're cool. We know that it might be awkward, so you know, what we're, 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 we're caring. I'll, I think I I intended oh, I, I intended a twenty four hour hack um last year. Okay. Um, and the one in Manchester. Manchester. Oh okay yeah. Um and one of the I was I was thinking of signing up and it wasn't until I saw another woman on the sign up list mm. that I actually joined. I and mean, it's through them that I become a peak girl okay. member. But it wasn't until then because you think a twenty four hour hack, I'm the only woman in in my development team mm. in well the only uh, in the office. I'm thinking I'm going into a room full of testosterone men. How many men? <laughs> you know, I, you know, because it's 24 hour hack and you're just thinking at the back yeah, of your mind. But, your yeah, you, you, you know. But when I got there, Bill Geek Dennis were there, um, yeah. and the ThoughtWorks were there. I've already met Amy, and um, Gemma was there as well. 
And uh, so that was cool. There'd be just other women there. Yeah. Just, just makes you feel a bit safer. I know it's stupid because I know men wouldn't do anything. It's just it's the first time. Yeah. You know, 24 hours out the air, staying over there. Going on to Sharon? Yeah. yeah. Sharon talked about the, the way she was killed off. I think when we talk, I mean, I think all of us ought to think, I mean, whether you're male or female, would I, use, would I use that term? Would I use, talk to someone like that? Would this person I've got to go to work with at nine o'clock tomorrow morning, mm -hmm. do I want them to sort of, do I want to walk into the office the next working day and something like, what would all that about the sex toy or what have you? Is it something that you want? Uh, yeah, I think. Yeah, I, 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 I think that comes from both men, men to women, and women to men. I think you've got to. I think, to I'm, think I'm, forward. I'm conscious that, um, you know, because as. Oh, sorry, that's fine. Actually, fine. Good morning. Okay. All right. Okay. Um, I'm conscious because I, I'm, I'm basically thinking that I, when we were talking originally. Yeah, because also Sarah Blow is also very, very um, comfortable because all the men around her, you know, and she's usually the only woman. Um, but she recognises that, you know, there are women that are very, very, you know, don't like that and are not, you know, just that's not the norm. And if you're going to somewhere, a strange place where you've never been before and there's alcohol involved and maybe quite late, then, you know, it could be it. You know, you hope nothing will ever happen, but you just never know, and you just want to be sure. Um, I was going to show you that there's this documentary that I, I hide my tweet really, but um, this documentary that I did with Sarah Blow ages ago, 2006. Jeez, uh, I'm not feeling that. Um, <laughs> it's actually quite. Well, I was going to play it, but um, I, I realised it's actually no sound, so I, so you can go and check it out yourself. Well, a tab, but it's a bit. It's very loud, so. But the if you look on the archive to all for like, go eat dinner, um, then you'll find it. And yes, yeah, that's so loud. And, yeah, and um, it kind of like describes some of the reasons why um, she said go eat dinners, and um, I'm in it for a brief amount of time, stumbling in my words, which is very very embarrassing. Um, so. Um, but yeah, I'm, I'm, I'm intrigued because I think you're right that um, okay, but, you know, it's good that it's starting to happen more and more. Um, but I wanted to say the point you made about women speakers. Um, I run lots of events. I have run lots of events, um, and I did an event for the BBC um, where it was all men, the lineup, and a few. Women that I knew, and they know me, so they 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 kind of joked about it, you know. But I was kind of like, I was, I I really was like, oh my god, now I kind of feel what some of these guys are like when I'm trying. Now you're to, one of them. <laughs> yeah, I'm trying to I'm trying to do a lineup, and I I can show you. I was going to literally, I didn't want to expose all the emails that I sent out to <laughs> to um, to women, you know, saying look, you know, we're great. So this woman I work with called Vicky, and I was trying and months like trying to get her to, to talk, uh, but she just wouldn't talk, and I, I, I it's a real struggle, and you know, I, I don't know. I mean, maybe equally with the argument that going to go to events gets women to be more confident to go to non go to events. Yeah. Like speaking at go to events because we might speak just to come and talk about these yeah. things. Some of them are already speakers who are established, but sometimes we do show and tell or things like this yeah. where anyone can just come and give a talk. And people who've never given a talk before can really get experience of, of doing that and then maybe feel more confident to put themselves forward as a speaker for a, another event. I yes. certainly agree that, like, I, I don't, I'm not, basically, my, my kind of intimidation isn't men or women, it's am I enough of a geek? Like to join yeah. in with the yeah. girl yeah. community. Yeah. Yeah. And the reason that I've come to this rather than a kind of, you know, non girl geeks bar camp was not not because I'm a just mainly because I kind of thought, oh, if it's mostly women, they'll probably just be less and be a bit nicer to me if I'm not really a geek. <laughs> <laughs> and it's that sort of thing, it's like, yeah, exactly this kind of. And then you just get fully transitioned to the top straight away. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Which is a bad change, yeah. by the way. <laughs> 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 we did yesterday a 
thing about why I, uh, women aren't in IT and why women earn more, uh, men earn more money than women, mm. and it's because men just pretend to be more confident. They're not yeah. actually more confident. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas yeah. we'll sit down and say, well, we don't know that. We're not going to do it. Yeah, because I'm just the same with jobs. Yeah. Yeah. Men will apply for a job if they've got 50% of the yeah. knowledge, whereas a woman will only apply for it if they feel 100%. Yeah. 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 Yeah, we I mean, do need to make some more noise, um, that, and that's one thing, I mean, you know, I, I think if you want to be active in any community, you should be at a point where if someone says, can you ever talk about something, you go, uh, okay, and you just do it, and you need to take that step, you need to take that plunge, really, at plunge. <laughs> you, need to, you need to take that. You need to take that step because we need to, as a as a community, we need to show that we've got skills and or at least pretend. <laughs> 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 we need 